Yo, what's up everyone? It's your boy Boone or Seattle Select coming to you guys with a brand new video. Today, I'm here to talk to you guys about how to tell a real Supreme shirt from a fake Supreme shirt. If you guys saw my last video, you would have known I got a fake Supreme box logo yesterday and I decided to make light out of this shitty situation. So I actually have like a fake that I can compare my real Supreme t-shirt to and show you guys how to tell the difference because there are several differences um, between a real Supreme shirt and a fake Supreme shirt. So in front of me, I have this Menace to Society t-shirt. This is from Fall Winter 2015, I wanna say. The other shirt I have is this fake box logo t-shirt that I just got yesterday, as I mentioned. And so I'm gonna pretty much commentate over some clips I have comparing the two tags and like stitching and other features like that on the two t-shirts. I really do hope you guys enjoy this video. I'm assuming a lot of people that have not seen my channel before will probably watch this video. So if you are new to the channel, please do drop a sub. I do a ton of different streetwear kind of videos talking about clothes. I go to bins and like thrift and everything like that. Um, please do drop a sub for me. I would love and appreciate that. So let's get right into the video, you guys. The first thing that easily exposes this t-shirt to be fake is the absence of a dot behind the A in Made in USA. I'm sure tons of you have heard about that. That's kind of like the number one thing to look for at fakes because shitty fakes never have that dot behind the A. I will say this though, people have sent me pictures of real Supreme shirts still in the plastic from Supreme that like everything about the shirt is 100% authentic and they still don't have that dot behind the A. It is a factory defect at rare occasions. So if that's the only flaw and the rest of the tag looks 100% real, there is a chance it is authentic. I can vouch for that. However, this one has so many different signs showing it to be fake, so you know it has to be a fake shirt. If you look at this real Supreme tag on the Menace to Society shirt, you can see there's an obvious dot behind the A, and the dots are way more distinguished on this one. Just because this has a dot behind the A, though, does not mean that it's 100% authentic. It has to have more than one sign showing it's real, as there are some fakes that do have the dot behind the A. Another thing that I noticed on this fake is look at the distance from the um, little registered R mark under the Supreme. Look at the distance from the R to the box logo. It's nearly touching it. Like they're pretty much um, touching on this fake tag. But when you look at the real tag, there's definitely a much more noticeable um, space between the registered R mark and Supreme box logo, which leads me to believe that um, that's another sign. Uh, you have to look at how far the registered R is from the Supreme Box logo because I guess some fakes fuck it up and um, they don't have the right distance between the two. Between these two pieces, you can also see the length of the tag as well as where it is stitched in like terms of like this top part. Um, above the Supreme box logo is the most obvious giveaway between these two. This fake one is just like barely above the Supreme box logo. It's stitched into the collar. And on this one, there's a lot of room here. You can see the 100% cotton doesn't really stick out from the Made in USA and pre-shrunk as much as it does on this label. The 100% cotton bulges out a bit more um, than it does on this label. The Made in USA is also has a smaller distance from the 100% cotton on this fake tag as it does from this real tag. And also, I've noticed this with a lot of fakes, the sizing seems to always be higher up from the bottom of the tag than it does on authentic Supreme shirts. The um, sizing should always be pretty low to the bottom of the tag. Side by side, it's really, really obvious there's huge faults with this fake from this real one. And honestly, you guys, that's just because this is a really shitty rep. There are some really, really good reps out there. If you're dealing with a really, really good fake, which you will see with a lot of box logo tees, um, that's when you have to get to the um, backside of the tag to really be able to determine uh, a real from a fake. The accuracy of the front of a Supreme tag does not 100% um, mean that it is real. If it's like totally foolproof on the front, um, usually a really good rep will fuck it up on the back. That's the spot they can't get correctly. Um, because of um, the front of these are not that hard to replicate, honestly. This is just, like I said, a really bad rep. They did a horrible job. So like I've said like a billion times, you guys are probably getting sick of hearing it, this left um, fake Supreme shirt is a terrible, terrible rep. Uh, you can just tell by like the back of it. Look at where like the machine wash um, text is like located on the right one. There's some space between the top of the tag and the machine wash while this fake, it's like literally like running into the top of the tag. It's just like a very obvious dead giveaway. The hardest thing for them to replicate on fakes, let me see if I can pick it up. It's really hard to pick up on camera. Right there is the Supreme spell out right under the word decorated. Uh, on fakes, it's just way too easy to see. Um, or they just don't even have it at all, which is a dead giveaway. 
Another important thing to look at when you're looking at fakes is the spacing between um, each line of text on the back and on the front, but um, most specifically on the back. Usually even the really good fakes cannot get this text on the back perfectly one for one with the real. Um, you can see on this one, like the with like colors line, sorry I'm shaking a little bit, this is very zoomed in. Um, and like the with like colors line is way too close to the other two lines. Um, it's just, there's so many giveaways between these two. You can see on this tag, there's the double stitching right here. Well, this just has single stitching. There are some Supreme tags that don't have any stitching on the sides. So if you really want to be sure if your um, a specific shirt is real or not, um, based on the stitching, if everything else seems to like look good and it's just the stitching it comes down to, uh, you can simply just look up a picture of the shirt on grail.com and uh, just compare the stitching on the authentic tag. Like find like two different examples of the shirts and um, if the stitching on both of those is uh, the same as the ones on your shirt and it's like double stitch or has no stitching, then it's definitely an authentic tag. Um, I think it gets weird though with some things like the motion logos. Motion logos are printed at different times. So some of them have the stitching on the side, some of them don't. So the final thing I'm gonna talk about with you guys in this video is the inner stitching on the front of the collar on both Supreme shirts. This is the fake again, this is the real. So on the real one, you can see this single stitching right here. That is single stitch, and that is what you want on the inside of the collar. When you look at the fake, you can see two sets of stitching, one up here and then one down here. I'm trying to pick that up as best I can for you guys. So if you guys can see, look at the bottom one, you can see there's two little strips of stitching. It's called double stitched on the bottom. Whereas on the top authentic Supreme shirt, you can see the single stitching on the inside collar. Um, Supreme tees, I believe, are pretty much always single stitch. I believe the long sleeves are double stitch, but I'm not 100% positive. Um, I might like verify that um, after I'm editing this video. But as you can see, double stitching on the fake inside um, collar and single stitching on the real inside collar of the Supreme tee. One thing I did forget to mention, guys, with some collab pieces, they do actually have different tags from the um, regular Supreme tags. So for verifying these ones, it's a bit trickier. You do have to go onto like websites like Grailed and search um, for uh, these like actual shirts and try to find one that from like a trusted seller or something like that. If you can see with this Betty Boop shirt I have right here, there's double stitching on this tag. Whereas with the other tags I was showing you guys, um, there was a single stitch one and another double stitch one. So it does vary on the tags, the stitching they have. Very important part of legit checking shirts is comparing it to as many other um, authentic uh, versions of that shirt that you can find. If this video was informative for you guys, please drop a like and a comment saying I helped you guys out because I'd love to hear that. Um, fakes being spread around the community is just so whack and it pisses me off a lot. Um, so I want to help out as many people as I can with this video. So the more you like it, the higher it can get in people's search results. And hopefully more people can find it and stay safe when buying Supreme. Uh, if you guys want me to make another video talking about like Supreme long sleeves, uh, Supreme jerseys, Supreme bags, Supreme hoodies, there's so many different types of tags with Supreme. I can totally do that. Let me know in the comments down below and I'll work on making a video like that for you guys. If all the things I said in this video uh, still did not help you to uh, authenticate some item that you're looking at or have, do go on to reddit.com r slash supreme clothing and there are people there that can help you legit check any items um, that's a huge supreme community you can also go on instagram and like look through supreme hashtags and try to find some supreme selling pages and hit them up um, and ask them if they can authenticate stuff for you because they usually do know very well how to tell reels from fakes because that's our job when buying supreme like we have to deal with so many fakes all the time this is the third time i've been sent to fake um, it's very annoying, but I mean, it helps me learn, I guess. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. It's been your boy Boone. I'm out. Peace, everybody.